guys, Butch Hartman here on Speech Bubble. It's true, The Rock wanted to play Johnny Bravo in a movie. Isn't that right, Van Parvel, creator of Johnny Bravo? He sure did want to smell what Johnny was cooking. <laughs> yeah. Did you like that? I did. I could smell that That's too. A good one. Wow, something we roll things. So Johnny Bravo ran for how many seasons? It ran well. No, for now, like, like, uh, can you talk about this a little bit? Yeah, you, you can talk about it or whatever. Yeah, go ahead, um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, it ran for the first season uh, with me. Then I was let go from the show. Mm -hmm. And then it ran for three more seasons under Gary Hartle. Right. Mm. And then they brought me back on to do two specials. It was like the first special was a Christmas special, which was awesome. Loved that. Um, and then they liked it so much and did well. So they had me do a Valentine's Day special. And then um, at that point in time, The Rock was interested in Johnny Bravo. The Rock. Oh, Dwayne yeah. Johnson. The Rock, about that. Dwayne Johnson. He basically, um, if you ever read Ebony Magazine from the time, I think it was 2001, 2002, mm -hmm. um, in the article he wrote um, his two favorite things to do when he's uh, in his spare time is play Willie Nelson music and watch Johnny Bravo. <laughs> wow. How about that? Uh, wow. I was like, wow, it's one of his two favorite things. <laughs> um, it's the second of the two, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's still yeah, weird. Number. <laughs> Anyways, we're number um, two. He, uh, his manager, um, he said he was on a plane and he said, hey, Dwayne, what do you want to do for your next project? And he's like, uh, anyone have the rights for Johnny Bravo? So, uh, I do recall uh, this. I recall this happening. He met me, like me and this guy, Sam Register. What year was this? Like, this was 2001. 2001. Okay. Sam Register was running Cartoon Network at the time. He was, Sam Register was part of Cartoon Network. He was, he was the guy that was, to, the guy who's going to deal with all the LA people. Um, mm. for, and not live in Atlanta. So basically, Cartoon Network Atlanta was, uh, they were their own thing, but they had to deal with L.A. people. That was the headquarters. Oh, okay. Yes, mm -hmm. but uh, Mike Lazar and them, they wanted to stay in Atlanta, but they needed someone in L.A., so Sam Register was the L.A. I guy. understand, mm -hmm. gotcha. Um, that's to my understanding. I'm sure he has a different story, but whatever. I but understand. For the purposes mm -hmm. of this story, that's yes. who yes. he is. Yeah, speech bubble is huge. I'm sure Sam Register will hear this. Yes, <laughs> yes. and so we... Um, they asked, they came and they talked to us about it, how uh, The Rock wants to make this his Austin Powers and stuff. He wants mm. to start venturing into comedy. Um, we want you to meet with him. So me and Sam went out to the set of, it was called Hell Dorado at the time. Uh -huh. um, but what did it, 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 it become? It became um, the, the run, not the rundown, or something like that. It was his first film. The first action film? Was it a yeah. Fast and Furious movie? No, it wasn't any of those kind of things. Okay. Why I'm blanking, uh, this is part of the story. Okay. Anyways. So, uh, so you, went to, you went to one of the rocks? Yeah, set. it was fun got because it. we got there and it was funny to me because like the craft services table just had a bunch of like protein powders and stuff like that. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. I uh -huh. uh, met his stunt double. I think it was his cousin that looks exactly like the rock wow. and uh -huh. stuff. But yeah, we sat there and we met. And he, he reiterated he wants to make this uh, his his Austin Powers. Was he lifting weights while you were talking to him? <laughs> like, was he like pumping iron? Oh right no! There? But you're sitting there looking at his arms as you're sitting there at the table. And you're like, dang. <laughs> um, and he's. I mean, I remember him saying, you know, are there any dolls of Johnny? I'm like, no. He's like, good. It's like can make a bunch of dolls. We he would start talking about merchandising and wow. all this other stuff. Um, he's all, now we just need to get writers on this. And I was like, I'm a writer? Yes. <laughs> I'm raising my head right exactly. Yeah, but he, um, he saw, they wanted real writers because it was being put on by um, Neil Moritz. He was the producer of I know the, who the Fast and the Furious movies. Oh, yeah, okay. I got it. Got so it. He, was, he was the guy that I was chatting with about all the stuff. And so they brought on a couple of writers, really nice guys. Wow. Um, and they developed it and then... Uh, didn't go anywhere. Right. Was a full script written, or wow. full, I have a full script. Wow. You know? Okay. Um, of a Johnny Bravo live action. Movie. And, and Bravo. Well, we got to have you back on here, Van, and have you read parts of <laughs> well, this. Can well, you <clears throat> tease a, a little bit of what the story was at all, or? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, you can because it was. I was it ten years ago, fifteen years ago. It was 10, 15 years ago. Um, a hint, a hint of the story. You don't have to if you don't want to. We don't. Want to, don't yeah. pressure Van. Don't. Pressure I'm, I'm not. I'm just you're pressuring him. Why do you well, pressure all of our guests? I no. I'll tell you some other time. Sure. Okay. All, right. um, well, all the stuff, all the dangling threads of Farrah yeah. Fawcett and this Johnny Bravo script. People got to tune into the, yeah. to, the to the podcast. Come I on. know. How about have conversations come up since? Uh, it was stopped that one time. Um, yes, so that's why I'm just not talking about. I see. Okay, very cool. Right. But not with the Rock. No. The Rock, no. which was the Rock, is doing his thing and like well, that's kind the, of exciting. Though you've got a, you, made, you created a property that that some big time people were interested in. That's yeah, very cool, it dude. was it was super super fun. And it oh. sounds like that's like a perfect match. The Rock being Johnny Bravo. Been, That'd be Jace, hilarious. Shouldn't Jace play Johnny Bravo because of his hair? You totally and could. I have his the same uh, body as fizz- The Rock. I look exactly like The Rock. Dude, I always confuse you guys. I'm always like, is that, is that Dwayne do. Johns? Oh, it's Jace. I yeah. keep getting it. I'm always like, I, so, <laughs> is that yeah. Dwayne The Rock? Oh, it's Jace. Yeah, it's like, yeah. And I, I just like, oh, it's Jace. It's yeah, like, if, you're, oh, if you go back to the time um, we made the cover of Hollywood Reporter cover of Variety. I remember oh. that. And so I was like very excited. I remember I, I got that. my name on I'm yeah, somebody the yeah so that was super cool so it it all seemed like it was gonna happen but that's just and the way Hollywood should. goes that'd be awesome we'll see mm-hmm.